And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hello, everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we get the brand new Ultimate Legend. It is Saturday Legends. Now, another week in a row that we have went without getting the thing that I've been waiting for so patiently for months now. But, guys, it's okay. The Florence Taylor, if you, if you have me on Twitter, you saw it yesterday. But, as we know, I already know it's gonna be like july 18th the final week before the beta release of man no the actual the final release for the the first release the actual release of man 21 and they're gonna release 102 overall lawrence taylor 12 abilities for the last week of madden it's gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun week of madden because we're already about to go into may next next saturday i believe falls in may so may we still haven't gotten lawrence taylor yet last lawrence taylor was nfl 100 i believe I'm staying corrected here. November to December was our last Lawrence Taylor. So that is two. We've gotten only two Lawrence Taylors all year. And those are very back to like close, like Legend and NFL 100. That's, I, in my opinion, it's kind of annoying. It is what it is. But still, Lawrence Taylor, come on. We've gotten like three or four Deion Sanders already. We've gotten three. But that other one was a while back. And even that, and that Deion took a while as well. Where's our Randy Moss? Where's all this crazy stuff that we should be getting already? Like, it's around that time. Hopefully, we start to get it, guys. But let's head over to the auction block. Let's see if the legends are up. Let's see if everything else is up, guys. We got our mutt rewards. So I want to open these real quick. Maybe we can pull something out of these. Pretty cool. We got two draft packs here. So let's see if we can pull any of the new draft players or we can even pull an ultimate legend out of these. I think it's a great way to start off the video here. So, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification boys, come join the family. Make sure you give that video a big thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think of today's ultimate legends. Now, we did get your Burl Peppers. I'm a Giants fan, so. I guess I can't be too mad about Drew Burrell, although we didn't draft him, but he's currently with us. I think he, he I mean, he was drafted by the Browns. Didn't really get off to a great start there. Mm, 93 Roquan Smith. Okay, I'll take that. Not bad. 13,000 training. Worst case scenario. All right, these packs were, uh, these packs were decent. All right, so let's head on over to the store. See if they've changed the pack. I right, guys, I'm going to check this every week. Do they change the pack cost? 180,000 once again for a player that doesn't even go for that much. That does not make sense. Like, if you could actually pull, like, one of the best case scenarios in Ultimate Legend packs is that you pull a mid-90, like a 95. Like, wow, I pulled a mid-95. You just lost 100k. The best case scenario, you pulled, or one of the best, you pulled a full Ultimate Legend, 96 overall, you lost coins. You pulled 97, you probably lost coins. You pulled 98, you barely made coins. It, it, it doesn't make sense. The system is broken. But let's go check out these sets to show you guys the new Ultimate Legend. Then we're going to go over to, of course, the auction block and check out all of their stats. So Ultimate Legends. So we got Jim Brown today, Bruce Smith, and Jerry Rice. Now, Jerry Rice... No, no, I'm sorry. He's last week. I didn't mean, I just read, read, just read off the screen. Bruce Smith and Jim Brown. Now, we do got the LTD, which is a cornerback. I will show you guys him in just a second. But as far as Jim Brown and Bruce Smith go, guys, I don't know why. I'm never hyped for Bruce Smith cards. I've never had one. Like, I never used them. I, this year, I haven't used any of them. And Jim Brown, I actually do. I'm a big fan of Jim Brown. I do love him. But his card, Madden, like his halfback card, just doesn't stack up versus the other cards in the game, such as like the Dickersons, the Barry Sanders. So on and so forth. The Saquon Barkley's like all those guys always seem to be a little bit ahead. They never make him too great at a lot of things. Although Jim Brown in real life was really OP. So I hope they really start to replicate that card a little bit more at some point. But let's go over to the block and check out their stats. I'll let you guys know what I think of these cards, who I end up, who I might end up picking up, what I think of any of these things in general. So let's check this out. Let's go over to program, ultimate legend, and then check them out. Now, in my opinion, will I pick up any cards this week? Probably not. Just all first glance of stats. I gotta see the back of the card. I gotta compare them. After I compare them, I will do my final analysis on whether or not I want to keep or, you know, pick up this card in general. But I don't think this is going to be my week. Like I said, I'm waiting for, like, guys like Dion and some guys just like that. That's kind of where I'm leaning towards. So let's go to newest and see if we can filter these guys out real quick. All right. So, I need Okay, so Bruce Smith is up. And there's the LTD Mel Blunt. Let's actually start with him. So, Mel Blunt is up. Mel Blunt's been pretty good for me this year. But I don't know if I'm going to pick him up. So, let's compare him. He's not really a comparable guy to Dion. Dion beats everyone. Let's go, like, Denzel Ward. Okay, first of all, the 93 speed is disgusting. Let's compare him to his last card. So compared to 95 Mel Blunt, he has a plus two speed. That's decent. Plus three Excel, plus three agility, plus two jump, plus two play rec, plus two man, plus three zone, plus four press. Like it is, it's a pretty decent upgrade, but for the cost of an LT, that's gonna be super expensive. I don't think this is the time for this, in my personal opinion. He does get some hit power, I believe, which makes him like comparable to Night Train Lane. Now he is better than my Night Train Lane, but this is not obviously not the full Night Train Lane. In my opinion, I don't think he's a pickup. I think that 93 speed is too slow. At max, you could probably get him to a 97 speed. But guys like Nitro Line, I can get up to like a 99. I can get up even higher. So 
In my personal opinion, I don't know if I'll actually end up going this card. He's great and all, but for the price tag and what I'm expecting this year, what I, what I kind of want in my cornerbacks, I don't think that's the move. Now, check the behind the card stats, of course, because we always got to check those out. So his catching is an 80, which is super solid. Now, check out his hit power, because hit power is super important at cornerback. But that's like a difference maker of whether or not that card's worth it. So 87 hit power. Like I said, he's going to be a super physical corner. If you have him and Night Train Land, you're going to get some pretty physical corners on both sides. So like if you play, if you want to go that route, like him and Night Train Land, that's great. But I like to go like a Deion Sanders, Night Train Lane, and like a Champ Bailey route. So that's kind of what I'm looking towards right now. Because they ever drop like an ultimate weapon Champ Bailey. I always love some Champ Bailey. Now, let's get to Bruce Smith. I was talking crap before, so let's check him out. Compare him to my Aaron Donald. That is a fair comparison right there, 98, 98. And people say, yo, well, Aaron Donald was powered up. Yeah, he was a 97. Now he's powered up to 98, so they're, they're equal. Actually, if he wasn't powered up, it'd be more unfair. So let's see, speed-wise, he's got 83 speed, 92 excel, 98 strength, 94 tackle, 95 play rec, 97 block shot, 98 power move, and 94 finesse. So now let's compare. Speed, Aaron Donald, more athletic. Acceleration, equal. Strength, Aaron Donald's better, but they'll end up being exactly the same when you power up or come up at all. So, tackle, Bruce Smith's better. Play rec. Aaron Donald's better, but it's pretty much the same. Block shed the same, power move the same, finesse move better. Okay, so Aaron Donald is the better card powered up, but obviously you could still power up Bruce Smith. So 99 Bruce Smith, let's see, 99 Bruce Smith would still be slower, better excel, same strength, way better tackle, same play rec, better block shed, better power move. Guys, they're identical. Identical, because if you power up Bruce Smith, but he might actually be cheaper to get Donald if it is, because at the end of the day, if you power up Bruce Smith and you have Aaron Donald chemmed up, they're both gonna have 99 block shed, both gonna have 99 power move. Both gonna get like 96 play rec, both gonna end up with 99 strength, both gonna end up with about 87 to 86 speed, depending on who's powered up and who isn't. So, identical cards, guys. There's really no difference in either one of these cards. So it really comes down to what you guys prefer. Me, personally, I love having that modern day Aaron Donald on my team. Aaron Donald's a beast. It's fun to have on the squad. So, personally, I'm probably gonna stick with Aaron Donald because I already have him powered up, so why go back, you know, waste some coins trying to get a card that is literally identical? Now, if we can check out some other stats here that I maybe has some other Correlation, jumping. Mm. Let me see a difference maker. Impact blocking is a 93. That's solid. Uh, pursuit, 95. No, I'm, not, I'm just not seeing anything. 94 hit power. Okay. Let's actually compare that real quick. See, is there is there an edge on Aaron Donald? Because Aaron Donald came out back in January, and he's still kicking the asses of most guys in this game. Like, it's ridiculous. A card should not have come out in January and still have this much advantage on most people, or at least the same. Okay, so hit power, 86. Okay, so Bruce Smith does have a much bigger hit power, which will lead to a lot more uh, fumbles. And let's see the impact blocking. 94. Okay, so I, it's looking like Bruce Smith has the edge in front of uh, hit power. That's about it. Powered up with the hit power, Bruce Smith might actually be a tad bit better, but I still like my Aaron Donald. And I'll check out today's final card, which is going to be Jim Brown. So let's see if we can find him up here on the block somewhere. Let's filter this out by halfback to make it a little bit easier. It's already 940, so I mean 1040, so it should be up. There we go. Jim Brown, 98 overall. Let's compare him real quick to Saquon Barkley. Power back, fair comparison. He's got 95. Speed, 94 Excel, 93 Agility, 97 Carrying, 97, 90, sorry, 71 Catching, 89 Looseness, 94 Trucking, and 98 Break Tackle. So compared to Saquon, Saquon is faster. Saquon has way better Excel. Saquon has way better Agility. Saquon has better Carrying. Saquon has way better Catching. Saquon has way better Looseness. He's got less Trucking and better Break Tackle. So, powered up and chemmed up, Jim Brown now. We'll have the same speed, still less Excel. Well, I've done just powered up, not chemmed up. Way less Agility, same Carrying. Way less catching, way less elusiveness, way better trucking for Jim Brown, but I care less about that. And then same break tackle. So Saquon Barkley again beats the J Jim Brown. This Ultimate Legend drop was kind of whack in my opinion. I don't think this was a good drop. I don't think Jim Brown or Bruce Smith are like, like every Ultimate Legend drop should increase the usage of cards. Like it should increase like the level of this game. Like if they drop cornerbacks and a halfback on Ultimate Legend Saturday, we should start trending towards better. Like they should always be one of the best cards at their position and then just not. Like Saquon Barkley is far and away the better card like it's not even close here and this card came back came out back in like february maybe march but i'm thinking february like it's not even close even alvin Kamara has a fair comparison to this shim brown card elusiveness catching agility acceleration my 96 barry sanders has a fair comparison my 95 bow has a decently fair comparison like it's like this is what it looks like looking at saquon versus shim brown so no i'm not gonna be picking up any of these cards at all i think they were an l for my team personally for other guys they're fine but for me Person, I think this was no, but guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the new bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think of all these ultimate legends. I want to know, will you do, comment down below? Do you guys like Jim Brown? Will you be picking him up? Will you be picking up Mel Blunt? Will you be picking up Bruce Smith? Personally, if I had to rank him, 
I'd probably think Bruce Smith is number one, followed by Mel Blunt, then followed by Jim Brown. Jim Brown's just like not that usable compared to other guys right now. Mel Blunt's very expensive, but he's decent if you put him with Night Train Lane, which is a very physical corner secondary group. And then first, I think it's gotta be Bruce Smith because it is as good as Aaron Donald, which isn't saying a lot because Aaron Donald was out like four months ago, but Aaron Donald's still overpowered. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.